Hey everyone, the uh, cursed vertical format is back, as well as the strange fogginess that seems to come in this room, probably because of the heat. I wanted to give a, another quick upload, mostly in that my laptop broke and I had to order a new one under extremely tight funds, so I'm not going to get it until Thursday. Tori, she's being a baby. But, uh, so, I have to delay my plans for some of my videos because I don't have anything to upload slash edit them as little as I edit. And I don't know what I'm going to use once I get onto a PC because I'm going from Mac to PC. Other than that, I am very happy. If I can pull back a bit, you can see... The Titus Udus has continued. And my, my little, my son, Mob, from Mob Psycho 100. And I also just found out, and I want to make a video about this later, Ryan Haywood from Rooster Teeth is actually in a civil lawsuit currently. He has, apparently it was, the original petition was, admit it to Travis County, Texas in January. And since then, from what I can see, we've had the original petition, then the statements go out to Ryan Haywood and Rooster Teeth because they're co-defendants, which I'm sure Rooster Teeth hates. And both of them have given answers and that's as far as everything's gone so far. The lawsuit itself like I said, I'll make a video to go into the whole thing, but the lawsuit is out of the 2020 allegations that came out with the uh, nudes leak that ended up with him being let go from Rooster Teeth and taken off of Twitch and later banned from Twitch when he tried to come back, which good for them. And the... Uh, the person who is bringing the lawsuit is currently remaining Jane Doe. I assume at some point her name is going to be let out into the public and will be uh, redacted for her safety. That's what I think is going to happen is there's going to be a motion to keep her name out of the public ref records. Kind of like how we've had in the Amber Heard Johnny Depp case some of the medical information be redacted. Here's Dory. Since you're wanting to talk so much, Dory, look at the camera. Even with a mo more mobile camera, she refuses. You are just a little brat, a little shedding brat. It's been very hot here without an AC. Uh, also, while I'm talking about Amber Heard v. Johnny Depp, that's another thing I want to make a video entirely about, and that is how after the everything came out, there's this whole push about the uh, women are no longer going to be, be believed coming out when they're talking about abuse. But there's also been a lot of, as expected, she petitioned a couple of appeals, appeals. And one of them was this idea that one of the jurors was not the original juror that was summoned. Because it turns out, in Fairfax County, two things. One, if you're over 70, you can be recused from participating in a jury trial. And number two, they don't put middle names or birthdays on the jury summons. So when they, they got this jury summons to a house that had a junior and a senior, and be, I guess because senior was like, dude, I'm 77 years old, I'm not fucking doing it. It must be for you. Junior went and he ended up being the juror that helped decide the in verdict. Apparently, um, this is speculation on the part of many people, but there's speculation that uh, Hurd's team knew that there was a disreferency because in the original uh, jury list, it had the birthdays and ages and 52 versus 77 is not insignificant and they realized that insignificant that um 
the 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 difference because juror 15 the 52 year old man put in his actual birthday and answered the questionnaire like he is not a false juror uh, the the father did not come in and uh then got replaced by the son so that got dismissed there was a lot of hooey about that though that i noticed of like oh my god it was a fake juror and this changes everything and clearly it did not there's also been a lot made of the Johnny Depp had another suit incoming from Greg Brooks, I believe, who claimed that uh, Johnny Depp physically assaulted him on the set of one of the movies that Depp was working on. And that was coming up in July. I was very curious how it was going to turn out because it kind of, it's one of those things that have been used to show that Depp has a history of violence. That got settled out of court which is interesting because the very much like the Ryan Haywood Rooster Teeth civil suit that's coming up the the um Brooks dude uh sued both Johnny Depp and the company that Johnny Depp was working for at the time and the company got the part got discharged or thrown out of court which I assume is what's going to happen with the Rooster Teeth bit if this actually goes on through trial but people are using that settlement as proof that um Depp is guilty and Depp is guilty in the Amber Heard case and why would he choose to settle if he has the chance to prove he's innocent what's interesting is there was an attempt to settle the Depp v Heard case why would Amber Heard choose to settle if she could prove everything, you know? That leads me into wanting to discuss, there's another case coming up that you guys are probably familiar with if you're familiar with Depp v. Heard, and that is um, Marilyn Manson v. Evan Rachel Wood, and I don't remember the other person's name, I'm sorry. I looked a tiny bit into it, and it looks interesting, and I'm very curious how it turns out. It seems similar, but also different from the Depp v. Heard case. That does not make sense. It seems similar in that similar accusations, the broader accusations, are swirling around of sexual and physical assault and abuse of from a powerful white uh, figure who is has been the scapegoat of many negative things over the past few decades versus two women this time who have I don't want to say capitalized but they've had their day in the sun or they've created awareness and have been brought out more in the public eye because they were Marilyn Manson's victims what's different is it seems like the case isn't as clear-cut as we thought the Depp v. Heard case was where everyone including myself thought that Depp was guilty and this was a uh, ruse or an attempt to abuse Amber Heard through the public court and that he had no chance of winning at all to him absolutely changing so many people's minds including myself when we were actually shown what was going on uh, from what little I've seen it's a lot more gray because there's talks about like faking being an FBI agent and stuff like that which is insane so I'm keep going to uh, keep my knowledge of the situation limited until it goes to court and I'm actually hoping that court will be publicly viewable again because I can't go to California to watch the trial you know, because I'm over on the total opposite coast and the the court case is in California. As an American, I have a right to sit in on trials, however I feel. And that was a, a big winning point for why the Debt v. Heard case was aired. So I want to, I want to see how that goes down because it don't think Marilyn Manson is claiming that he was abused by Evan Rachel Wood or anything 
more that he was defamed and has experienced emotional damage because of that defamation. But it's still interesting to me because it was so interconnected to the Debt Fee Heard case. You couldn't hear the one without having the other be brought up. And currently, Ava, Evan H. L. Wood is being lambasted for not citing or believing believing uh, Amber Heard. Somehow she's managed to make an enemy on both sides of the Debt Fee Heard case, which is interesting because all she said is that she doesn't want to comment on it but yeah i'm i'm very curious how that turns out i want to get more into uh male victims of domestic abuse and that sort of thing i feel like that's important dory's still losing her shit and what else was i wanting to do oh when i get to chapter 14 of whipping girl which will be the next video i upload when I get the computer and I learn how to use whatever editing software is on there. I think it's like Movie Maker or something. Fine enough for the basics that I, I have. But when I get... I, Whipping Girl Chapter 14 is literally two, two pages on Windows. So I'm thinking of actually reading that chapter and then going into a brief discussion of it. Which I have notes. I have read. It's really kind of a nothing burger, and in fact, I feel like it lends to the idea that I need to double check that perhaps each chapter was more or less a series of essays that might have been published to her website that she then collated and edited it into this book because it really just repeats a lot of the same points as before. As for everything else, I am, I'm going to have a Google Meets uh, meeting with the indie publisher to discuss my book on my phone because my laptop is gone. I have to try, it's not dead dead yet, but it's close enough to dead that I can't use it for anything. So I need to go on it and copy my questions really, really quick before it does die and copy the rest of my notes down or other stories that I plan on writing. So I got to do that. And actually tomorrow morning, I'm going to the local PetSmart, which is like two miles away. And I'm interviewing for a dog grooming position. It's like, oh, geez, Icarus, you're going to, you're going to follow your masters and you're going to go to work and you're working for your ghost writing, uh, smut hen. You're going to be a dog groomer again? Yeah, I, I question my sanity myself, but I decided that with how tight money has been lately, it will be beyond nice. Sorry, she she's like flexing her little paws. But it will be beyond nice for me to get to see... Uh, yeah, well, god damn it. It will be beyond nice just to get out of the house a couple days a week. Maybe once a week if they'll let me. Uh, and I know they're going to be like twice a week at least. Weekends. Opening or closing shift. There is no in between. But it's okay. Because school's going to be four days a week. Uh, I work two days a week. I have a day a week off for therapy and house maintenance. And one day I'll be a published writer. But yeah, that's, that's about it for me. Let me see if I can't get this silly cat on the screen properly. Because, Lord knows, she's much cuter than me. What do you think, Dory? Yeah? You want to say goodbye? <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go. My only last thing is I'm debating changing the uh, YouTube channel's name to Happy Sad Yo-Yo because that's what I am on Tumblr and Twitter and I think that would be fitting because what am I but a Happy Sad Yo-Yo. <laughs> Alright, well, thank y'all so much. I will... Maybe I'll post a shorts of Nettle's current haircut because it is... It is something.
and I've been wanting to mess around with that as just a quick hi, bye sort of thing. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm talking too long. All right. Bye, everyone. Have a great day. I'll answer comments as soon as I have my lap new laptop.